Hey, what's up, everybody? Nick Unreal for New Orleans Top Football, and you're watching The Dot, presented by Matt Bowers Auto Group. The first week of free agency is nearly at a close already, and a lot of work has been done by the Saints to build out their roster for the upcoming season. So we head to our Twitter community for today's Dot to see what they're asking and to answer a handful of those questions. The first one we're going to get to is, how do you feel about the linebacker and wide receiver depth charts? And right now, I don't feel great about either one of them after the starting group of players on either position group. At linebacker, the team just lost Caden Ellis. Pete Werner and Demario Davis are still obviously at the top of that depth chart. But I don't feel great about how it looks going a little bit further down that list. And the one thing I do think you have to keep in mind, as good as he's been and as good as he's going to continue to be, Pete Werner has faced injuries his first two seasons in the league. Maybe that's just bad luck, but... You have to be practical about these situations. Having another player on that depth chart, just in case something else happens, would be smart. And maybe even a developmental option for the future with Demario Davis getting near the end of his career would be a smart move as well. So at some point, they're going to have to start transitioning that group out. Getting some younger talent into the pipeline, I think, would be a smart thing for the team. And at wide receiver, I think just another guy, an heir apparent to Mike Thomas. Marquez Callaway was in that role before is just that possession, big body receiver. I think having another guy on the team will be smart. Mike's going to be at the top of the depth chart there, but just having someone else on third downs where you're in short yardage or at the goal line would make a whole lot of sense. The next one is, was Caden Ellis's role different than Werner and Davis's roles last year? And yeah, I, I think it was. He played more downhill. He got schemed up into more blitz packages. Demario Davis can do a lot of that, and he's been a really good blitzer throughout his career, and I still think he's really, really good playing downhill, whether that's attacking the run or going after the quarterbacks. So I think that's something that he can still produce in moving forward. But I think Ellis was someone that was on the uptick there and he was a college defensive end. So some of his pass rush stuff was just really, really well refined and he shined in that type of role. So that is something that I think the team could address going forward. I don't know if Zach Bond has some of that repertoire in his game and maybe seeing the success that Ellis had before they get Bond into that. As we know, Baum was a pass rusher in college. He came into the league. He transitioned to off the ball linebacker. And it's been somewhat of a slow transition for him. But maybe that's a way he could get involved and give some production if he remains on the team going into next season. But I do think getting that type of player would be smart because the Saints like to play a lot of 3-3-5 looks. And having that linebacker that can come and bring pressure from anywhere is a benefit to this defense. And the next one is, do you expect the Saints to add in free agency in any sizable way moving forward? I think it's still possible that they spend some money. The Saints still have some decent cap space left. And if they want to target somebody else, I think that's something that they could do. And there still are a handful of good players, especially on the defensive line, still available in free agency. And I think they need to add to their depth or even towards the front line of the depth chart at pass rusher. And defensive tackle is still a spot where I think there's plenty of room to add more talent. So if those players sit out there and the prices go down and it makes sense to add one, I could definitely see the Saints targeting another player in free agency.